and tell you what it feels like from a personal perspective. So, so the science, nothing's changed. Everything's documentable. It's just that, that I had this experience. That you had this experience. Yeah. How can we manifest some of this for ourselves without having to go through a stroke? Um, ease the chatter in our mind. Pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to your thoughts. Yeah. Do you meditate? No, I don't need to. You don't need to. No, no. I know what I know that my brain chatters just a tiny little group of cells about the size of a peanut. Chatter, 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 chatter. Well, when you look at the whole rest of you, and the rest of me wants peace, it's like I can just say, let's <clears throat> let's not listen to that, and let's come and really tune in to the present moment. One thing I think people have to be interested and willing to come to the present moment which means you have to allow yourself the willingness to say I'm going to set myself aside I'm going to set my ego aside and and her life and and she's not going anywhere I'm just not gonna focus on that right now yeah it's she's not going anywhere I can go back in a moment or in five moments or an hour later and I can pick up right where I left off well I think what is so miraculous about what happened to you in relation to what uh, we've been talking about with a new earth is that in an instant everything from your past is wiped out yep. and how you define yourself is gone right and you are left with this clean slate and it all was just in your mind. Exactly. Exactly. It was just in your mind. Yeah. It was just neurons. It's just it was, neurons. It's just, it's just neurons. in your mind. Yeah, it, was it really had, had no power. Anymore. Had no power whatsoever. Had no power. And then I had the opportunity to choose, is this circuitry, are these things I want to think about? Do I like the way these feel in my body? Do I like what this is attracting to my life or not? And it was that simple for me. If I didn't like the way anger felt inside of my body because I could feel it physiologically running inside of me or not. It was a choice. It's just circuitry. I mean, you know, you look at yourself and you think, oh, okay, here I am. I've got this ego. I've got this identity. I've got this stuff. And this is who I am. It's like, no, that's not who you are. You're a bunch of cells in there. And all we have to do is wipe out a tiny little group of cells and you don't remember any of that. Are you still you? You're still you. You're still you, but you're not caught up in all the stuff, all the details, all the all the the data. The data doesn't matter. And and I think that people recognize this when they have trauma and they become they become severely ill. Yes. They realize that those details those aren't the details that matter. What matters is is how did I treat people? You know, when when I die, what is left behind is 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 the memory of me how will people remember me was i kind was i loving what i do in 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 kindness is what matters yeah it's it's just a different perception now did you come to some conclusion about then what happens when we die well no not really because i didn't die mm -hmm. i just came to a conclusion about when the left hemisphere gets shut down what am i left with and I found my deep inner peace. And I found beauty and purification and innocence. And it was just beautiful there. Mm -hmm. But I didn't die. So, no, I, I don't know past that. Yeah. I can't speak to that. Oprah. Do you care? No, that's not significant to me until I get there. Until you get there. But I can tell you that, that in my heart, I believe it's peaceful. It's peaceful. Because it's the absence of all that is out here, which is kind of that neurosis of that, that left hemisphere creating all this busy details, all this information in the external world that, that isn't going to matter anymore. It doesn't matter anymore. Mm -hmm. um, you say it's also so quiet, so important to, to pay attention to self-talk. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Self-talk. Oh, it, yeah. pay attention to what you're saying to yourself and take some responsibility for that voice. I mean, yeah, right. yeah. Right. I mean, I'm not. Going, that's all it is. It's just talk. It's just talk. And did you ever wonder when you're mad, really mad, and you're yelling at yourself? Did you ever wonder who's doing the yelling and who you're yelling at? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's the left hemisphere brain chatter, yelling at that right hemisphere, which isn't always doing things absolutely to the detail that that left hemisphere would like, because it doesn't care about any of uh -huh, that stuff. Uh -huh. But what else is what you know? That's your way of. That's your languaging. I think yeah. Eckhart would say is that it's the left hemisphere which is the ego mm -hmm. and the right hemisphere is that sense of presence exactly. or consciousness exactly. yeah, yeah. The, the the level of awareness mm -hmm. is, is, is what he right. what he speaks of wow. um, one of the things I wanted to talk about is when you were in this state in the hospital you talked about in the end of the book 40 things you needed most and I was struck by 
and I'd mentioned this earlier um, in an earlier talk that we had, that you wanted people to know, I am wounded, mm -hmm. I am not stupid. Yes. Please respect me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Totally different perspective when, when people recognize you are just wounded and, and you will you will come through this and we will bring you energy and we will bring you whatever you need in order to help aid you as opposed to looking at you as, as a, you're now stupid because you don't know what one plus one is. Repeat yourself. Assume I know nothing and start from the beginning over and over. That's right. Be as patient with me the 20th time you teach me something as you were the first. Absolutely. Approach me with an open heart and slow your energy down. Slow way down. It's Take not about your busy, time. busy. Take your time with me. Come and love me. Just come and be with me. Bring your positive energy and connect with me. Be aware of what your body language and facial expressions are communicating to Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because I may not understand your language, but boy, am I tuned into other things. Again, what did I gain? I gained perception of body language. I could read a book about you that because I was no longer distracted by what you said. When you say I could read a book about me, mm -hmm. read a book about you, meaning a person could walk into the room and based on, on the energy that right. they brought into that right. room, you knew everything about them. I had a physician walk in and to the room, and I was, it was right after surgery, and he stood in my, in my darkened area so I could not see him well. He turned his body, practically had his back to me when he was talking to my mother, not to me, and he was, he was so un, uh, unavailable for me. Oh, I read that. Absolutely. I read that. Would I call that particular individual in being a good doctor at that moment? No. No. Absolutely. No. Not. No. Yeah. So your sense of sensory perception was no. so much heightened. Totally. Totally heightened. Yeah. Make eye contact with me because I'm in here. Mm -hmm. Come find me. Come find Encourage me. me. Exactly. Please don't raise your voice. I'm not but deaf. I'm, I'm wounded. Not, yes. Yeah. And so many people will assume that, that if I can't understand them, then they're going to, to yell a little bit louder. But... I, that just scares me away because I don't need you, you. I need you to come closely and enunciate clearly for me. Touch me appropriately and yeah. connect with me. Yeah. Touch my arm, stroke me, stroke my hair. Come in and just comb my hair for a little while. Just love on me. Just come in and be with me. Ask me questions with specific answers. Allow me time to hunt for the answers. Allow me time because I, I have my, my mind is wounded. I have slowed way down in my ability to communicate. Be patient with me. Don't finish all of my sentences for me either because I need to be able to go through that hunt and process. And if you ask a question and then answer it yourself, I'm left out of the loop. And I learned that you don't really care to get any information from me, so I stopped trying. Wow. Yeah. Handle me gently as you would a newborn. Yes. Treat me, treat me with that love, with that reverence and that love. Speak to me directly, not to me, not uh, about me to others. Right. I'm here. Treat me with that respect. I'm your patient. Include the others around you, but your attention comes to me. Cheer me on. Cheer me on. Be my head cheerleaders. I needed cheerleaders all over. Cheer me on. Expect me to recover completely, even if it takes 20 years. Even if it takes 20 How years. How important is that? Oh, it was so important. People would come in, and the people who said, you're Jill, you're going to be just fine. You're Jill, you're going to be just fine. That meant that was priceless to me because they brought me that positive energy and that belief, and it didn't matter. I'm not on a timetable. It doesn't matter that I can't do any of, yeah, of this. Not on a timetable, and certainly not on your timetable. Certainly table. not on your timetable. Mm -hmm. That's right. So what can brain uh, science teach us about ourselves to help us cope when there's all this brain chatter going on? Well, again, I think it's going to be where do you focus your attention? Where do you focus your attention? And pay attention to how things feel in your body. And I'm just going to keep going back to that because you know what you feel like in your body when you get angry. And you have a